Mr. Kes Harrison, Chairman of the Board of Management, other board members present, Mr. Reno Scott, our guest speaker, Mrs. Vincent Reed, the director, parents, friends, members of staff, students. The coming of a new school year is usually filled with hope and expectations. Concerted efforts and careful planning mirror our actions for many of the programs of our school. The school has been fortunate in that, throughout the many years, numerous strategies, all geared toward the various expectations of the private education institutions are implementing. These strategies have resulted in the success we have had. As the school year comes to a close, our minds and hearts are filled with gratitude to God for taking us along this journey. I feel that at Medical Comparator School, we have learned much and have experienced that will long remain with us in the years to come. This afternoon, it is my distinct pleasure to present the report of Medical Comparator School on behalf of its entire staff for the academic year September 2014 to July 2015. The school year started on September 1 with the opening of our preschool catering to students 6 to 30 months. Three caregivers, a cook, and an ancillary worker were employed. We're happy and thankful that we're able to deliver on our promise to open the school. The preschool is fully integrated into the prep school and some of the students will be transitioning this September to the preparatory school. On Tuesday, September 2nd, 2014, several new parents and students were welcomed into the preparatory department of our school. The present academic staff for the prep school consists of 16 full-time and three part-time teachers. There is also a school nurse, versa, administrative assistant, a clerical assistant, six and zero staff members, and a security guard. As I introduce you to the staff, I would like to extend in a special way my greatest appreciation and thanks to all staff members who have worked very hard to maintain the high standard at Medical Preparator School. I believe that the success we have had over the year is due to the combined effort, zeal, and determination of all staff members. At the beginning of the school year, it was our goal to come together with a common purpose in mind, to encourage and develop the lifelong learning experiences in these students sitting before us this evening. Therefore, great emphasis was placed on the curriculum. The curriculum at Medical Proprietor School is multifaceted, with each class following the program best suited to its particular stage of development. The new integrated approach to teaching that is required by the Ministry of Education formed the basis of our teaching method at Medical Proprietor School. However, we spare no effort in ensuring that our teachers are equipped through research and training to execute the curriculum at all levels. The school's vision of formulating strategies that facilitate academic achievement, also the holistic development of our students and the collaboration among all stakeholders are of critical importance. The external examination set by the Ministry of Education as well as regular weekly, monthly and term assessments are used to measure our success. I am happy to say that in most instances, pupils are facing up to the challenges and have been making efforts to maximize every given opportunity. Our teachers embrace the use of technology in the classroom, and as such, lessons are projected on screens and educational websites are recommended in order to enhance the teaching and learning process. They also provide hands-on creative activities as well as traditional paper and pencil exercises to engage the students in their lessons. We are determined to enrich the curriculum. Hence, 
use of project work, group presentation, and educational tours. Great emphasis is placed on the need of the child, and so their work is graded using well-defined steps and stages from reception class where the emphasis is learning through play, while the students in the older age groups have worked through a program that is crafted for them. Besides the regular academic subjects that are taught, there are other areas of focus. Our reading day, science exhibition, and the use of resource persons. The extracurricular activities offered also help to develop each student holistically. They learn to perform skills through sign language, develop their agility through swimming and dancing, serve others through the brown attack and the Cub Scouts, become environmentally aware through the environmental club, and build physical strength through sports. All these activities have helped to create rounded individuals as well as reflect our school's motto, preparing to serve. Our students have had an exciting and fulfilling school year. Many activities were unfolded which add variety and enjoyment to school life. During the school year, all our, cal all our calendar activities were successfully accomplished. Between September and December, students participated in heritage celebration, which brought awareness to our heritage. Family morning, where several of our parents were recognized for their contribution to the school, and finally, our Christmas concert. How could we forget this concert? The school's musical, always a highlight, was produced and directed by our own teachers. We were all entertained by a wonderful production. The color and talent on display was remarkable. Other activities during this year were the celebration of Founders Day, Lapaton, medical games, and the annual main fair. The inter-house spelling bee competition was also held to prepare students for the Gleanon spelling bee competition. Field trips commence in January, and we ensure that the experiences were educational. All tours were curriculum related. However, this did not reduce the fun the students shared. Sports Day is also another well-anticipated event for students and parents. As always, this is strong display of family and friendship, as parents and students showed much excitement and friendly rivalry on the day. At the end of Sports Day 2015, Sullivan House was declared the winning house. Teachers and parents 
prepared for their GSAT. The publication of the results was another milestone achievement. They achieved the personal best in each of the subject areas and made us all proud. From a cohort of 29 students, 13 scored an average of 90 to 98%, 9 scored 80 to 89%, 4 scored 70 to 79%, and 3 scored 60 to 69%. Some students scored 95% and above in different subjects. In math, 3 students scored 95% and above. In science, we had 14 students who scored over 95%. Eight of those students scored full 100%. Wow. Our new board chair, 
who at the recent Synod of the United Church in Jamaica was asked to serve in this capacity. Thank you. 